Hi everybody, I am Jesse Paegui. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a laser weld perfectly safe. Stay with me and let's see how it works. The press hardened ball steels in today's laser welded blanks typically utilize an aluminum silicon coating. This coating protects the steel during the hot stamping process. It also allows OEMs to use a simplified process which eliminates scale and avoids the need for short blasting. The final part exhibits excellent corrosion resistance. If the aluminum silicon coating is not removed prior to welding, the aluminum in the coating can mix into the melting steel during laser welding. Any aluminum in the weld will have a detrimental effect on the weld's hardness. This can result in fractures at very low strengths. If the amount of aluminum exceeds the maximum allowed for the steel combination used, the weld can become brittle. Partial ablation is the process used by ArcelorMittal tailored blanks to reduce and control the aluminum pollution. It is the safest process for ArcelorMittal's complete range of press hardened ball steels. Let's see how it works. Developed by ArcelorMittal's global R&D team, the partial ablation process removes a very narrow strip of the aluminum silicon coating from the top and from the bottom edges of the blank. This ensures that the level of aluminum in the weld remains below the limit. The partial ablation process is carried out as part of the laser welding operation. The width of the strip that is removed can be measured and controlled. The intermetallic layer remains in place to provide continuous corrosion protection for the underlying steel. When launching a new laser welded blank combination, ArcelorMittal tailored blanks validate the robustness of its process using a quick testing procedure, which we have recently developed. The test confirms the dynamic behavior of the part. The new procedure uses a Sharpie test to ensure that the laser welded blank remains ductile after ablation. The Sharpie test can confirm that the partial ablation process has eliminated aluminum pollution in the weld. And if there is no aluminum pollution, the part will fulfill its energy absorption hole in the event of a crash. With the Sharpie test, only a small flat specimen is required. It is cost effective and much faster than other methods, which require a crash test of a stamped part. Using Sharpie tests, our silver metal tailored blanks has demonstrated that the static tests do not accurately indicate the brittleness of the weld that is made using the dilution method. The Sharpie test methodology confirms that the aluminum dilution strategy used by other companies is less robust than our partial ablation process because it cannot be controlled in line. This is particularly important when it comes to predicting the dynamic behavior of a laser welded blank in the event of a crash. Thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. See you again soon. Bye.